The death toll from an outbreak of bird flu in China rose sadly to seven today. Stocks in Asia came under pressure as fear grows that the virus will spread. Our Olivia Stearns joins us now with today's global outlook. And uh, should we here in the U.S. be concerned, Olivia? Well, you know, Adam, so far officials are really trying to play down fears. They're saying, don't worry, don't panic. We are prepared. And the key thing, we are not going to see a repeat of SARS, the influenza that killed nearly 800 people a decade ago. But today, though, as you say, a seventh death confirmed from H7N9. That's this new strain of avian flu. The current infection tally, that also rose. Now 24 reported cases, all of them in eastern China. So a sense this is... Shanghai, it, which Shanghai. is, is of course, their, their crown jewel. That's where they're, the Chinese are trying to put their forward, foot forward as and there the you new see China. the impact on the Shanghai composite which actually was closed for the past two days for a public holiday but reopened today and ended the session about six tenths of one percent lower the biggest selling on the airlines you see it on the screen shares in EVA Airways and China Airlines both fell some six percent a few companies though popping though check this out shares in BioChrist Pharmaceuticals they rose nearly 30 percent on Friday up about 18 percent today look at that 36 percent now a huge climb they are the drug maker behind a drug called Paramvir, I should call a treatment. It's an intravenous treatment. It is the leading intravenous treatment for this avian flu. Another one I liked, a company called Supermax. This is the third largest maker of medical gloves in Malaysia. Those shares up 6% because, as one of their officials said, the spread of bird flu, well, it augurs well for that company's growth.